Good morning, my beautiful followers. How's everyone doing on this Monday? It is cold, cold, cold here in Texas, as I know it is in most of the South. I know a lot of people are dealing with power outages and massive, not massive, but a couple inches of snow. It's massive for the South. Um, and I wrote an article actually last night and I posted it um, first thing this morning. And it was basically about me looking outside. So I grew up in upstate New York, and so it was always snowing. We would have a couple feet of snow on the ground, and it was no big deal. It was truly no big deal to have snow on the ground at the time. Uh, and then years later, 15, 20 years later, uh, and all of a sudden, it's snowing outside in Texas, and I'm like, I this is unacceptable. I am not open to this. I am not open to this. I, it is unacceptable to me to have all this snow. It's actually a little bit fun to see the snow. Not the power outages, not the bitter cold, but it's a little fun to see the snow. But it really got me thinking about our realities and what how we create our realities. Because at this point in my life, I look outside, I'm like, it is cold out there. Uh, and not many know, people know, but I have a really, really rare allergy, super rare allergy. Uh, and in the cold, in the snow and ice particularly, if I, it touches me, I actually get welts all over my body. It's not fun. It's not fun. Wherever it touches, whatever touches the snow, will I'll get big red welts and they'll just be itchy and no fun. But anyway, so I was looking outside and, and I was talking to somebody close to me and they were like, you know, man, we've gotten used to not having snow because both of us had grown up in cold area. And it really just, it was like, this is unacceptable to me. And it's looking at a reality. And so then this morning I was doing my yoga practice been trying to get back into my yoga practice as I've fallen off of it. And there are the things that we decide are, are unacceptable in our lives. Like right now, snow in my world, I'm like, that's unacceptable for me to consistently have snow. It's not something I want, not something I desire. It's fun every once in a while, but I don't wanna live in snow. But then there's also the things we get comfortable with and we make acceptable without choosing them. We choose them, but we don't consciously choose them. So like this morning, I'm doing my, my yoga, I'm like working it out and I was like, ugh. I have gotten comfortable I have uh, with lack of flexibility and just like my body just really w wasn't on board for yoga like I was trying and of course I'm giving myself love and you know going slow but I remember a time where I, that same yoga class I was doing would have been super easy the truth is by being unconscious I chose the reality of less flexibility, of less stamina in my body, of even just a little bit of disconnection, even with all the energy work I do and all the all the meditation I do, there still is something about yoga. And so that is a reality I chose without consciously choosing, without, without going, I'm gonna choose to be less flexible. Most people don't do that. But it is this unconsciousness and it's those little realities and the things that we eventually go, yeah, this is acceptable. This is acceptable to me. I'm gonna allow this to be acceptable today and then it's gonna come over tomorrow and then the next day and the next day and the next day. Because usually we don't just stop a practice for one day. You know, if you do that, then you know, take a break, things like that. You get snow one day and it's like, okay, this is acceptable for today. It's when we get into that pattern of expanding it out and it's deciding what is acceptable, what is non-negotiable in your life. You know, what are you not willing to do anymore and where do you want to create your reality? I have a reality where I don't live in a place where we get consistent snow, where I'm constantly freezing. Now today, we have a little snow on the ground. I'll show you the snow before before I, I head out. But the fact is, that's not my reality anymore. And that's not the reality I'm choosing. So I've chosen to live in a way, live in a place that no longer supports constant amounts of snow. Same thing with my body. I have to choose. And, the same, and this goes to you. It's what are you choosing? And what are you consciously choosing? And what are you unconsciously choosing? And what are the realities that you're need, needing to go, no, I'm setting a boundary with myself. Because, yeah, there's those boundaries we set with everybody else. But at the end of the day, 
Most of the time, we have to set those internal boundaries with ourselves. It's all internal. And then that will ripple outward. That creates our reality. It always comes here before it can go external. So what's your reality today? What is your reality today? Are you allowing yourself to get off course with what you truly want for your life? I want you to just, even this week, because we have a whole week and some of us are stuck inside for the next few days because we have another snowstorm coming on Wednesday. If you live in the South, yay, not really. Um, but if you, I want you to really think this week and go, okay, what am, what's one thing that I'm going to change my reality on? And what am I gonna go when you have that thought pop up? Like, no, like, Finances are a great example, or even love, love, like relationship-wise. Like I hear people all the time go, oh, I don't have any love in my life. I don't have any love in my life. I'm like, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. That's a reality you've chosen, and you can switch your mindset. You can go, no, I actually do have love in my life. I have love for myself. I have maybe a cat. I have, I have friends. I, whatever it is, you do have love in your life. Love is always internal. Finances, like... Maybe you need to change your mindset on finances, but we have to choose our reality and that's how we do it. We choose our mindset and then we create boundaries within ourselves and we start to kind of veer off where we're like, no, that's unacceptable. That is unacceptable to me. So what are you making acceptable? What are you making unacceptable? And you know, what do you truly want for your life? At the end of the day, I want you to really think about that. So. Uh, I am going to let you guys go. I'm going to just get warmed up before we have some rolling blackouts here because we got rolling blackouts going on. So uh, go get warmed up and showered and dressed before. Um, I can't do that anymore. So, okay, guys. Um, if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, if you want to work with me over the phone, in person, video, whatever, head over to AdisonBell.net and fill out my application to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Other than that, I'll see you amazing, beautiful followers tomorrow. If you have not liked my coaching page, go over, hit the like button, and help me get this message out. All right, guys, I love you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.